Wait up, Madeline. I can't believe Billy said I wasn't good enough to be in the math club next year. But you get 100% on every math test. I know. He said boys were better at math than girls. Why did he say that? You're the best I know. He's probably just mad that I got a better score than him on the final. Probably. You sure gave him a piece of your mind. You're right, I did. What he said was really mean, and it's not true. I want to make sure he never says that kind of thing to other girls in the future. I bet he'll think twice the next time he wants to be mean. I hope so. That's really bold of you to speak up for yourself. Well, I was inspired by our heroes today. They are some of the boldest people I have ever known. Really? Who are they? A group of girls in Uganda who have to be bold just to go to school. Really, just to go to school? That's right. They made me realize that if they can stand up for their right to go to school, then I can stand up for my right to be in the math club. I can't wait to meet our special heroes. We will soon enough. But first, we have to do today's pop quiz. No big reaction? No, I accepted my fate. I mean, there's no use fighting the inevitable. <laughs> wow, Nico, your test anxiety is getting better. Eh. Today's question is a tricky one. What is the name of the home for the girls in Thailand? Oh, this is tricky, um, but I remember seeing it in, on the building in the video. That's right. Let's see if a viewer at home knows the answer. It looks like we're getting a call from Maya. Hello there. Can you tell us the answer? That is a tricky question, but I remember seeing the name on the building. Hmm. Keep girls safe. Correct! It's the perfect name because the whole point of it is to keep girls safe from danger and letting them go to school. Oh, that reminds me. So today's program is about girls going to school? Yes, it is, Nico. Turn the page. Where I come from, people think girls should get married instead of going to school. I'm only 12 years old, but some people think that I should have a husband already. I do not agree. I want to go to school. I don't want to wear a wedding dress. I want to wear a school uniform instead. All my friends feel the exact same way. We want to learn and play. We want to go to college one day. But we have to be bold. If we are afraid, people will not listen to us. They will not respect us. They will tell us that we do not belong here. But we belong here. School is for boys and girls. with God by our side. We will be strong and we will be bold. Those girls are really my heroes. They are so bold and brave, even when adults say they should not go to school. I agree. Let's see what our viewers at home think about it. It's time for... What do you think? We're getting a call from Ava. What do you think about the girls in Uganda? Those girls really inspire me to speak up for what I believe. If they can be bold, so can I. These girls are the reason that I told Billy I am good enough to be in the math club. You should be the president of the math club. You're better at math than anyone I know. Thanks, Nico. But it's because of these girls that I felt bold enough to stand up for myself. I can see why. I figured if they have to stand up to child marriage, then I can at least stand up to bullies. And I stand with you. No one should ever be mean, especially when it comes to school and learning. Those are wise words, Nico. I hope you have more of those words to fill in the blanks today. I guess that means it's time for Bible Blast. Tomorrow's the last day of our show, which means we have to have the whole thing memorized. I think we can do it. We'll give you viewers at home 10 seconds to think about this verse. Can you remember the missing words? All right.
right, Nico. Tell them what's missing. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? Great job, Nico. And great job to all of you at home. <sighs> Thanks, Adeline. I'm going to keep practicing tonight because tomorrow is going to be a blank screen. It's our last day, and we have to recite the verse totally from memory. I'm ready for it. Are you also ready for tomorrow's big pop quiz? What's the matter, Nico? You don't look nervous anymore. I no longer have the emotional capacity to worry about the pop quiz. I decided to accept what I cannot change. Wow, good for you, Nico. There are kids around the road who have bigger things to worry about, like marriage or kidnapping. I guess I can live with a little pop quiz. I'm proud of you, Nico. Maybe you'll start to feel the same way about long division. Hey, hey, easy, easy. I'm taking baby steps here. But I want you to join the math club, too. Math club, math club, math club. See you all tomorrow. All right, don't forget it's our last show tomorrow. That goes for all of you at home, too. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. See you all tomorrow.